Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of MakerBox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a PLA from US filament called High Heat Maroon. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a PLA filament from US Mono Filaments. It says on the label it's PLA High Heat slash Maroon. And the hot and temperature for it is 190 to 230. Bed temperature to 56C, so it's pretty much standard PLA settings. And I got 50% extra in this shipment. And here they say it's a pure US made high quality nature works in Geo 3D 850 PLA with no added colorants. My guess is this is a mix-up in text because last month uh, MakerBox had this NativeWorks Integro 3D 850 PLA with no coloring. So I think this text may be not <laughs> correct one. But, uh, but here they say it's more flexible and durable than standard PLA and can be annealed for improved temperature resistance. But uh, like I said, I, I think this text is a mix-up because this obviously has some colorants in it. <laughs> but here are the, are the prints. Uh, I had a little bit of uh, under extrusion issues and that was because of a, a clogged nozzle. It was not a fault of the filament. So like some of my prints have under extrusion issues, but I changed the nozzle and then I had really good prints. So, so for those prints, don't mind the under extrusion. It was not a fault of the filament. But here was my first print uh, stringing test. Um, yeah, the, had a little bit of stringing, but strength-wise, it's pretty good. It's quite difficult to to, to break, um, um, so it's a pretty pretty strong PLA. Um, here I have the under extrusion issues, <laughs> but that's not the filament. Um, and I printed this uh, overhang test. Um, it came apart because of under extrusion. Um, I cleared the nozzle at a later time and reprinted this one. Um, this one came out excellent and had no issues. Overhang performance is pretty great. Absolutely no no issues. Um, so so those tests came out great. Uh, I printed also the uh, money cut. Um, this one came out pretty good. Good. There's an under extrusion issue. Um, a little bit giving uh, a trouble here, <laughs> but uh, otherwise it came out excellent and, and no issues. Here with the Omnum model, also same, very good performance uh, under extrusions, not <laughs> surprisingly because uh, this uh, was giving me trouble throughout the prints and then I found out and, and reprinted only this part with without the uh, under extrusion issues. But uh, the surface quality is great and it looks pretty good. Also, this Otis model uh, came out great. Uh, absolutely no no issues, no stringing, and, and just very easy to print. And then Sir layers a lot, also coming out great, and no issues. Just uh, under extrusion <laughs> issues. So it was not the fault of the filament. All those test pieces had those under extrusion issues. But when I changed the nozzle, I, I did this print and it was coming out excellent and, and no issues. So this was a quick look at the high heat maroon filament from US filament. Like I mentioned, uh, the under extrusion was not fault of the filament. It was a clogged nozzle or par partially clogged nozzle on my printer. And when I changed that out, I got a, a fine print without any issues. Um, so. Um, for this material it was really easy to print and, and no stringing to speak of for the models and, and layer adhesion I couldn't really get a good idea of because of the under extrusion issues uh, <laughs> so it was difficult to, to find that out but uh, I think this filament was giving me good results as long as I didn't mind the under extrusion issues <laughs> So I just apologize for uh, for to use monofilaments for wasting all the filament <laughs> with that issue, but that was not not their fault. But this will be it for this video. I, I 
I hope you liked this video and give it a thumbs up and, and a share and a like. So for now, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.